Hello, hello. Welcome back to Global Unbamboozlement, where I get it in the record. So, yeah, welcome back. I am S.Y. Draper, your speaker. Thank you so much for coming in. Let's jump right on in to today's content. So you are at chat number 20 as usual and customary at this point. We do encourage you to go ahead and take a look and a listen at some previous chats so that you can have a better picture of kind of what's going on here, why we're here, what are we doing. You clicked on the on the video so you know the subject matter. Today you're looking at, uh-oh, on the board. As if to say, what happened? What happened? So should you go ahead and take a look and a listen back at the previous chat? That would be chat number 19. Today we are at chat number 20. So I close that chat number 19 out with a statement along the lines of, if so-and-so, such-and-so, thus-and-so, then we all have the capacity to be white. Someone popping in on that statement probably, very probably might say, wait a minute. Did this person just say everyone has the capacity to be white? Yes, that is pretty much what was, what was said. So someone might say, uh-oh, Houston, we may have a problem. All right, so we are at chat number 20 today. Chat number 20. Uh, this is going to be its own little leg, number six. It will only be a part one, leg number six. All right, so as I said, color lies unpacked. You know that because you clicked on the title. What kind of color lies? Skin color lies unpacked. All right. So, <clears throat> in keeping with our model and how we do these these chats, as if they were a book or a booklet of sorts, we like to have a subtitle and we like to have a glossary of terms. We like to do that. Don't manage to do it every single time. Do apologize about that. So our our subtitle for today would be really white. What do we mean by that? So, again, to take it back just 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 because of how I closed out the previous chat in that comment about if so-and-so, 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 then every human has the capacity to be white. Well, what is really white? We're not going to be here long on this particular piece because so much of what's folded into it really speaks for itself. It's, as I have frequently say, much of what we talk about on this channel is things that we already know. Uh, our intention is to bring some attention to it, generate some new conversation around it to help us be a better humanity around this whole crayon skin color ideology that has mucked us up and messed us up across the human condition and how we think about each other and how we treat each other, uh, triggering all kinds of nasty behaviors and ideologies and, 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 and things and division and separatism and, and all kinds of discord across the human condition, all brought on about, uh, brought on by things that are language that's tacked, right, to these uh, so-called skin colors uh, that uh, we use uh, the, the human condition the human experience uh, has has used this crayon theory uh, to try and label the human skin. All right. So really white, our subtitle, really white. Not going to be here long at all. So the statement that I made yesterday, rather, on a previous chat was if one would go to their dictionary and look up the word white and take out the piece 
that describes what it means as someone to be a person who is not so-and-so and so-and-so. If you take out that piece and just look at all the other language in that definition, then everyone across the span of the human condition has the capacity to be white. Now, I want to be careful now and help you realize here that what we're, we want to make certain is that, let's say this, let's pinpoint this, go ahead and put some couple, couple of terms up here. Supreme and or supremacy, same word, right? <clears throat> One roots off the other. Um, and then uh, white. Those are our two terms for today's chat. And uh, the reason I want to pause here is that uh, we all know the story about white supremacy in our mess model called North America. We know the story here. This is no secret. There's no private uh, issues around this. Folks know the history there. The damage brought up, brought on around it. Um, and so want to pause here with that and bring some attention to it as it relates to what we're saying today. Make no mistake. There is no skin color that reigns supreme in the human kingdom. So what is supreme? Supreme, as you know, just by looking at the word, is indicative of the highest, the highest way to be, the highest place, so to say, a position of being of the utmost rank of importance. And we might even say value. This is what we know just by looking at the word. No need to go to a dictionary. Again, as said in a, in a previous chat, you know, we look at words and as humans, they automatically conjure certain images, right? Just by our having an innate knowing about a lot of things, right? So as it relates to this, supreme and supremacy, evokes this um, terminology of being in the being the highest being the utmost rank of importance and value and so what has happened here around this coloration of the word white a white skin suit so to say um, it brought on notions that the the this one is the most supreme of all so-called colors or skin colors so Tying that now back into tying that now back into the context of what we're talking about today is and tacking on to what uh, how I closed out the, the previous chat. All humans have the capacity to qualify and be white. Well, we're not talking about the skin coloration piece of it. We're talking about the language. So that said, to bring attention to the language, because this is the problem, sort of this is what has has uh, seeded the problems um, that that have happened around the error of using this skin coloration ideology to label humans. OK. All right. So now that being said, what I want to do is go to our next term, because uh, it, it's just so, it, it's going to really help us uh, gain some imagery around uh, 
why this is so important. And so what I went ahead and did, I went ahead and got the dictionary definition uh, of the word white. And I'm going to, that's what you see here, um, I'm going to go ahead and write this out for you. Because again, what's important here is to get some imagery. We already know what white, the word white is indicative of. As you see on the board, we already know, and as I've already said, what the word supreme and supremacy is indicative of. Listen, every human being is supreme just by virtue of the fact that you're a human being. The complexity of all of what you are makes you a supreme being. Talk to your creator about that. Um, all right, so now... The word white, what does it really mean? Well, free from color. <clears throat> and this next one here is pretty long. So what I want to do is just, I may, let's make it brief. Let's make it brief uh, because it's very long. Let me put this in front of you here because I want you to see what we're dealing with there. You see that? Maybe you can pause the video and take a look at that when you do a playback, perhaps. Uh, but the second word, or rather the second term, it says being a member of a group or race characterized by reduced pigmentation and usually specifically distinguished look at this look at the semantics the semantics here this is important to write this out uh, because of the semantics of it. It's what's got us in the mess that we're in. Belonging to groups marked by black, <laughs> brown, yellow, or red skin. This is going to be real sloppy. I'm so sorry. But just want to use it to make a quick point. Because this is only number two. But this is the one because what I said yesterday, rather what I said on the previous chat, was if you, if you look at the definition for the word white and you take out the piece that names, uh, rather that, that the, the definition this definition, right, that tags it on to a particular group of humans, if you take that piece out and look at all of the other terminology, the other lingo in uh, under the umbrella of the word white, every human has the capacity to be that. Now, this is, again, I want to bring this in now because this is not uh, the intention here certainly is not to say, ooh, you know, we, if we want to be quote unquote white. No, not as it relates to a skin color. We're talking about the language, see? We're talking about the lingo associated with these words that has gotten us into trouble, that has gotten us into acting in ways that have hurt us as a humanity and brought shame to us um, as a species, as a human species. OK, and so um, no one is uh, needing to be another skin suit or should be desiring to be in another skin suit. That's not the point. We're going beyond skin when we talk about this word here. All right. So look at this. What is really white? 
by definition, means to be free from color. By definition, being a member of a group or a race characterized by reduced pigmentation and usually specifically distinguished from persons, distinguished from persons belonging to groups marked by black, brown, yellow. Look at how I spelled yellow. Or red skin. So we've already been here. We've already talked about this. Right? But I wanted to pick it back up because of what... Uh, again, sound, sounding like a broken record. But how that... Uh, the previous chat was ended. So if you take this piece out... If you take that piece out of the dictionary definition for the word white here's some here's some uh, other definitions here some other terms we'll say it's the number three I want to leave that up there because that's important Marked by upright fairness. Free from spot or blemish. Free from Moral impurity, innocent. All right, <clears throat> look at that. So, if you take this piece out, what is really white, free from color? Marked by upright fairness, free from spot or blemish, free from moral impurity, innocent. Who has the capacity to be that? Take this out. Every human being has the capacity to be this. So we have to be careful. We have, should have been more careful about what we were doing. When I say we, the human experiment, the energy that created this skin color ideology should have been more careful about how the uh, auto imagery was going to play out around this language. But there was a, some sickness, right, in the mind of the, the, the makers of this strategy. No secret, no secret. But it's got us here, right? Yes, there have been improvements, absolutely, but there, we need more of it, all right? We need more of it around this whole skin coloration ideology. It has mucked us up, messed us up, skewed our thinking, jaded our way of processing information around our human counterparts, impacts our behaviors has controlled activities and created much distress across the human kingdom. All right, so there's a couple other things I want to point out here because we're talking about really white. What is it? The word white itself, and there's so much importance on everything you see on the board right now that I don't want to take any of it down. Um... There's some symbolism around the word right, white that I want to that I want to point to as well. The word purity. It is symbolic of favorable. It is symbolic of fortunate. Apologies again for the sloppiness. It is symbolic of light and bright. Right? 
There's some symbolism here associated with it. Now, this becomes problematic when we, because what this ideology does, again, it's the contrast. It pits one quote unquote skin color against the other, right? And when you pit one skin color against the other, right? What you're saying is, is that this one is this this way and this one is that way and this one is that way and this one is that way and this is this one is that way by virtue of the color of their skin. No. It's not the case. That is a lie. Right? And so on the previous chat, what I wanted to point out as well, right, is that there's this um well, let's go back over here. The symbolism <clears throat> around this word. And all of this is all of this we can say is 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 true. It's a fair statement of what why it is. It's a fair statement in the human language, in the human kingdom. It's a fair statement. But we've got to take this piece out. We've got to take this piece out because it it suggests that no one else then fits, right? Can classify, so to say. It's suggestive of that, right? And there, therein lies the problem. Therein lies the problem. But the symbolism here for the word white is all about purity and favorable and fortunate and light and bright light as in, you know, not dark, right? Not black, right? Light as in the best, right? Bright as in the smartest, right? Which every human across the face of the human condition has the, the capacity to be this, right? So this is the point. This is the point that, that, uh, that we're making here. Really white. What's really white? Who's really white? What is really white? All right. Not much more we want to say about that. That is a mouthful. That is loaded. All of that just right there. Right there. All right. So. Every human. Is a supreme being. Every human is in a position of supremacy just by the virtue just by virtue of the fact that you're human. We're talking about the complexity and the beauty of the being itself. Right? Beyond this. Right? So what has happened where we went wrong in this skin color ideology is that we there the, what this what this notion did is that it had the audacity to say stop at the first layer Stop at the stop at the skin layer. Don't go any deeper. Just just stop right there. So it arrested the human condition, right? It arrested it arrested the human condition and said, "Go no further. Don't look any deeper. Stop at the outer integument. When you see someone." See them as just a red person. See them as just a yellow person. Focus on that they are brown. Focus on they, that they are black. Focus on that they are white. Coming up, we're going to talk about brown. So this is what the ideology did. The intention was to arrest the thoughts of humanity when it comes to the human skin. Limit, restrict, stop. So as to make sure that certain ones were considered in a certain light, in a certain way, in a, right? The whole idea of, ideas of uh, degradation and elevation and debasement and who's, who's the most, right? Who's the highest? Who's of the utmost rate, rank of importance among us, that is, in the human kingdom? Well, 
It's not anybody that's who's so-called white. It's no one who's so-called black. It's no one who's so-called brown. It's no one who's so-called yellow. It's no one who's so-called red in and of itself. In other words, there is no human on the face of the planet that is supreme by virtue of the fact of the skin suit that they're wearing. None. Zero. Zero. This is not what this these this this has no ability to make a human. When I say this, of course, we're talking about the skin coloration ideology has no ability, no cast capacity to make one a supreme being. Does not. There's one thing that is able to truly classify a being as being supreme. And closer toward the end of this particular uh, string of, of chats, this particular topic, because it's coming to a close here, we're at number 20, chat number 20. We've got probably about three more chats to go and we'll be done with this and moving on to another topic of how the human condition has been bamboozled. What else do we need to be unhooked for, uh, un, unhoodwinked about? All right, so we're all supreme beings. We're all walking in a manner of supremacy by virtue of the fact that we're human beings, beautiful beings. You are here at Global Unbamboozlement, where I get it in the record. <laughs>